Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, Curator of Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're starting out in the bridge of the battleship with the bow located behind me. We're going to talk about uh, the battleship Wisconsin and her collision with the destroyer USS Eaton on May 6th, 1956. The reason I wanted to illustrate the distance from the bridge to the bow is this is where the people steering Wisconsin uh, were, and you can see just how far away, it's at least two, three hundred feet forward of us, uh, is the bow of the ship. This is a huge ship. Wisconsin's another Iowa-class battleship like New Jersey. Uh, it, it takes a lot of maneuvering room for one of these to operate. Uh, on May 6th, 1956, Wisconsin was operating not too far from her home port of Norfolk, Virginia, and she was leading the aircraft carrier Coral Sea in a formation. Coral Sea had a man go overboard in dense fog around three o'clock in the afternoon. The destroyers escorting the two capital ships broke formation to pick up the man overboard. Now, unfortunately, in the dense fog, they couldn't necessarily see the other ships around them, uh, and the destroyer USS Eaton cut directly in front of Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin immediately ordered all back on her engines, but it takes a long time for a ship this size, she displaces about 58,000 tons, uh, fully loaded, to, to come to a stop, and she plowed into USS Eaton. Uh, Eaton was a magnetic ship. Uh, some ships are just lucky and some are, some are unlucky. The Iowa-class battleships are by and large very lucky. Uh, some Fletcher-class destroyers are just unlucky. Eaton had previously rammed a submarine, uh, and then she rammed another destroyer earlier in 1956, uh, and then in May of 56, she cut in front of Wisconsin. Wisconsin had right of way, uh, and the destroyer cut in front of her and uh, got rammed. Fortunately, even though Wisconsin would have to lose some 68 feet of her bow from approximately where I'm sitting here, all the way to the front of the ship, and Eaton's keel was broken and a huge chunk was taken out of the middle of the ship, nobody was killed in the collision. Two people on Eaton were injured. A mess cook was down in the vegetable refrigerator and got thrown and uh, eventually, eventually needed skin grafts um, and, and took some head damage, spent 30 days in the hospital. And a civilian who was the guest of Eaton's commanding officer was on the bridge and he was thrown and got lacerations to his leg. Uh, both of these individuals were transferred to Battleship Wisconsin which has an excellent medical facility on board and at least two doctors at the time. Uh, check out our video on Iowa Class Battleship Medical Facilities. And uh, they, they were both able to be stabilized at that time. Otherwise, there were no injuries or deaths. Uh, Eaton was eventually repaired and returned to service and she would participate in the Bay of Pigs invasion and in the Vietnam War before finally being decommissioned. Wisconsin had an upcoming uh, cadet cruise to Europe and the shipyard workers in Norfolk were able to perform a miracle and cut out the bow of Wisconsin from second deck down, replace it with the bow of the incomplete Iowa-class battleship Kentucky, uh, and then reattach the main deck part of Wisconsin in something like two or three weeks in order to get her ready for that cruise. Uh, and she continued to serve for decades thereafter. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and tune back in in the future for more content. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. Uh, if you would like to know how to support the museum, or the content we produce here on the channel, uh, check the donation link 
uh, in the section down below. Thanks for watching.